100% head DG. What's up? Episode 2 in the house. Yep, yep. So, uh, Craig brought me a snake today. I'm letting you borrow a snake oh, today. dang it. Letting you borrow. So. This is Justine. Justine. This is my very first Justin snake. This is true. Not, not Canova. JKR. Yeah, these, these are retros. Still, it's retro. It's retros. <laughs> so, uh, Craig got this from, uh, JKR. <laughs> So that's what it still was when, he, when we got this. That's right. Uh, this is a Trick Het Desert Ghost. So, it's my very first Justin Snake. And it was a very good purchase, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. And I'm super excited to see what Trick Desert Ghost looks like. But in order to get Trick Desert Ghost from this, guess what we got to do? Um, I got to find a visual Desert Ghost male. Or a head. Or a head. But either way, it's got to be a head or a visual Male. So I don't have one, <laughs> but I got a guy that does. Craig knows a guy. So I brought her over here. Yeah. So uh, she's well, she, she's like 1,230 grams. 1,200. Uh, yeah, 1,230 grams. So she's getting to the point where she's getting ready to, and I'd rather have her here acclimated to this building before yeah. we just yeah. So uh, we're gonna fatten her up and uh, start scanning what for sound and see if she'll lay us a clutch of eggs this year. Hopefully she will, but the plan is with this girl is she's going to go to the Orange Dream Cypress Pinstripe Desert Ghost Mail. I don't have so, a single Cypress in my collection. Well, so we already know that the Cheetah, which is the trick Pinstripe, mm -hmm. is going to look crazy. Yes. So adding Orange Dream Cypress and possible Desert Ghost visuals to that could uh, could be pretty dope. So I think it's a cool pairing. Um, you know what? Let's let's show him off. Let's show him off. You ready to meet your boyfriend? Oh, of course he's in shit. Of course he's in shit. Oh, here we go. Here we go, guys. Got an angle right here. They can just, they can just meet for a second. So this is this is like Planned Parenthood? That's wrong. I know it's wrong. So, I know. Unfortunately, he's in shit. But Y'all fire is, me for uh, that. This is Cypress Orange Dream Pinstripe Desert Ghost Mail. So this will be a future pair and um, hopefully here in a couple months. So uh, y'all heard it here first. Heard it here first. Alright, so, um, yeah, all about some uh, DG stuff here recently, and today's episode is not going to be any less than that. So, I'm sure y'all remember because we've done this on video, we pulled 13? Yes. 13 eggs. Yes. I can't remember. Was it 12 or 13? I it think was, it was 13. It was 13 because she had one inside of her, remember? Yeah. It was and, pull yeah, 12. Pull 12. And then she laid the 13th Dude. egg after we filmed. Made me remember things so, from a month ago. I know. Two months, three, no, almost three months. My brain don't work like that. Wow, time flies. That's right. All right, so my pastel calico, um, it, it, she's not just a calico. She is the calico. Like, if you want calico, this is the girl you buy calico from. Um, and I know there's a bunch of good calicos out there, but none of them compare to this girl. She is about, I don't really know how old she is. I got her when I started breeding... A long time ago. Um, I'm going to venture out to say she's 14, maybe 15 years old. She's a big girl too. She's big. Um, she's some old school blood. And she lives right over there. Uh, and you're, you know what? Let's just let's, let's just get her out. She lives right over there. Big snakes live on the retake rack. This is a uh, pastel calico girl. 
She is old school F and F line, and um, friends and family. <laughs> um, but she lays massive clutches. I've had her for a long time, and um, yeah. I mean, she you just don't get a better example of a calico. No. This is as good as it gets. I mean, you can add spider to it. Um, you know, you you can add a lot of stuff. But just to be a pastel calico, this is this is as good as it gets. It doesn't get any better than this. So um, we usually have a waiting line for uh, for our babies. This year, I decided to not do a waiting list uh, for her babies, and part of the reason for that is because of YouTube. Um, and I had, you know, other reasons. Other reasons. Other than just being busy and yeah. didn't want to do lists this year. Uh, so, all right, let's, let's quit talking about her for a second and talk about what she was paired to and what has happened. So, she was paired, obviously, months ago to our uh, Orange Dream Spot Nose Desert <coughs> Coast male. Oh. So... I wanted to get this calico line into our Desert Go stuff. Why not? I mean, obviously that's a great direction to go. So that's what we went for. Uh, I knew she laid big clutches. I expected that we would, uh, you know, make a bunch of stuff to keep for ourselves and have a lot of stuff to uh, sell for our uh, customer base. So uh, fast forward, and she lays 13 eggs. And they've hatched now. So let's check out and see what we got. Like I just said, I thought we were going to have this crazy clutch, bunch of snakes that uh, were going to be available. And yeah, well, uh, part of breeding snakes is you get screwed sometimes. And yeah, that's pretty much what happened on this clutch. Kind of like my, my nine egger from the other day, and yeah. five of them went bad. Yeah. And it happens. It so, happens. Um, but. You ended up having some that hatched. I did. Uh, all 13 of them hatched. Yeah. And our results consisted of 12 males and one female. What? Yep. So at least the females look banger. Uh, you'll see her here in just a second. We're not going to show all 12 snakes, are we? Um, no, I don't have all 12 snakes. Okay. All right. uh, so the other crappy part was I only made uh, four calicos. Um, Three males and the female. Really? So, yeah. Uh, the rest of them, yeah. I normals? <laughs> there were super normals. There were five pastel males. Right. Uh, yellow belly male uh, and a couple of normals. Okay, that's and, not bad. Uh, actually, yeah, it's kind of horrible. I don't know it um, is, but you know, at least they were alive. They 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 did hatch. They did did find it. I, I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember what the... But there were a lot of wholesale animals in this clutch. Sure. Um, and we didn't do as good as I thought I would. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. So, Jeremy and Tiffany um, at Entwine Exotics, they picked up the best male. Uh, I actually intended on keeping this male. And they kind of twisted my arm and told me, no, that that's what they did. They so. Did they entwine your arm? And pretty much. So... They actually got an Orange Dream Spot Nose Calico Head DG male uh, out of this clutch. So everything but pastel, this male had. Great looking snake. Um, they talked me out of it, so unfortunately I don't have that one. But I will show you the rest of the calicos that we still have. Uh, and the males are available. So let's check them out. Alright, so like I said, they got the Orange Dream version of this. This is Calico spot nose. This is male and 100% head desert ghost. So spot nose works really well with calico anyway and then of course the best line of calico out there this is going to be spectacular as an adult and really cool. You know I'm, I'm really excited that we got the calico, the, the best calico into desert ghost. Somebody can do some great things with this. So Craig just made a good point. He's like, man, they're so white to be so small. And that's exactly correct. As these things age, this white will just continue to get, you know, more abundant and uh, and whiter. It's kind of pinkish right now. But, uh, I mean, you've seen Mama, so you, you know what to expect. Mm -hmm. So this is same as Mom. So this is pastel calico. Uh, male, 
100% head desert ghost. I mean, you've seen mom, so you, you know what this is going to look like as an adult. This could be Orange Dream. I'm not seeing OD in this, but it is possible it wasn't apparent. It's crazy. And you said that's a male? This is a male. Is it male for sale? This male is for sale. Okay. So the one we just showed and this one uh, are available. The only female in the clutch is a Orange Dream Calico 100% head DG. And she, no doubt, is staying here. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty. Uh, probably the best orange dream calico ever made and being a DG girl there's no way she's leaving you know really nice example I, ex I expected nothing less though um, you know coming from our girl so but I'm super excited to have this I, I, yeah. I kind of lost the words here I mean you know sometimes sometimes we're not supposed to talk yeah they don't want us to talk <clears throat> so that one not for sale not for sale but the rest of them for sale Yep, those, uh, those other two Calico males um, are available. Uh, everything else in the clutch is, has already been wholesaled, except for, I think there's an Orange Dream head DG male up there too. Um, but everything else we uh, we had to wholesale. But uh, yeah, really cool, really unique. Get Calico in the DG, whether it's mine or yours, it needs to happen. So. Get Calico in everything. This is probably also true. There you go. So, see y'all. Thanks for watching Hardwired Exotics and make sure you subscribe.